Hello, my name is Spencer Jardine, and this tutorial is to talk about uh, features of the databases. So, let's pretend that we've already conducted a search, and our search has been on cyberbullying. Uh, we can always uh, begin looking at the results immediately, although sometimes there are too many. So, we can limit to full text, we can limit to scholarly, we can also slide this uh, bar here to get more recent articles maybe published in the last two or three years. So if we update it, fewer results will be returned to us. Okay, so other features of this database, we can see uh, if we mouse over the uh, magnifying glass, that little icon, we can see an abstract or a summary of the article. Uh, we can also see that there's a PDF. We can click on that to get to the full text. And from this page, we can email an article to ourselves. We can save it to our own computer, our own jump drives. We can also print. It's usually best to use the icons within the uh, database to do the printing or the saving. Uh, also, this database allows us to browse the other articles within that same issue, and we can find other articles published in that issue if that's of interest to us. Now let's go back to the results and look at some of the other features. We can see that uh, if we click on an article, it takes us to an expanded record, and we can look at subject terms. If we click on one of these, it'll take us just to articles within that subject heading. So sometimes that will actually broaden and give you more results. Um, on the right-hand side, some of the features you can see here are the print, email, save, site icons. The email allows you to email the article to whichever email address you wish. You can save to your computer, to your jump drive, as I've said before. And if you click on the site one, a lot of it students get excited about this. You can actually uh, copy and paste your citation. So if you are using the MLA uh, citation style, you can copy and paste this into your Works Cited uh, page. But let me caution you that uh, you always need to double check everything with your own textbook or with the citation manual to ensure that it's done correctly. Sometimes the, the computers capitalize things that don't need to be capitalized, so you might have to do a little bit of updating and correcting on your own, but this can still save you time so you don't have to do everything from scratch. These are some of the main uh, features of this database. If we click out of here, let me show you one other thing that can help you. If we go back to the results, we can see that there's also a subject thesaurus terms on the left. And so if we want to narrow it down even further to bullying and cyberbullying, we can update those results. And now we get uh, fewer results uh, from doing that. So this is the end of uh, this tutorial on features of the database. My name is Spencer Jardine, and you are certainly welcome to contact me. Uh, so please do so, and I hope you have a good day.